imagine for, for a second that uh, some of your, your kids or yourself, you have, have one of these gaming consoles and you listen to the sound, you see a visual and you have a scent at the same time uh, for what's happening during, during the game or during, during the movie. That's for example something we're working with, uh, with more of the tech companies right now, how to, how to realize it and how to make that happen. What's really exciting about tech is the bleeding edge of both art and science. I think that for um, companies that are building great experiences like we're trying to do, uh, we're pushing the limits of what machines can do and that will continue to move out. We're using machine learning and we're using algorithms and we're using big data. But actually, at the very edge, it's also about human beings that make it work. Creating digital uh, systems that go all the way through from consumer interaction to transaction approval and back again. And that requires an investment in back offices, it requires an investment in the way clients deal with you, it requires an investment in the way consumers deal with the phone, or tomorrow with their heartbeat as being the most distinctive predictor of their identity. We are going so rapidly from a world where we only had cell phones to a world where our refrigerators may be talking to our ovens, may be talking to another company where sheep who are connected to the internet in China may be communicating with weavers in Ireland. So trillions and trillions of addresses on the network need to be identified. What is this? Who is this? Where is this person or thing? What are they allowed to do? How are they allowed to communicate?